All right, guys, I know it's been a while, but welcome back to my channel. For those of you who have been watching me for a while, thank you for your patience. I appreciate you coming back and watching this video. Today, I have a really good product to show you. It's from a company called Filebop. If you haven't heard of them before, they're based in Hong Kong. I believe they have offices in the UK, but warehouses, distribution warehouses throughout the world. Today, I'm gonna review this fleece jacket. Okay, full disclosure, they sent me this garment and a couple of others for reviewing purposes. And I promise to give you my full honest review. Okay, so before we get into the actual product, let's talk a little bit about Filebop. And I hope I'm not butchering their name. Uh, they didn't speak to me in person, so I don't know exactly how they say it or what it stands for. But I do know they're a company that strives to be eco-friendly. They like to use a lot of technical fabrics, fabrics with performance features such as uh, Gore-Tex, um, and this particular item we're going to look at, this is graphite fiber and uh, a lot of cooling technology and keeping you warm type technology. And they look for ways to even use fabrics that are uh, contributing less carbon to the environment. I don't know exactly where they ship from in the U.S. or where their warehouses are located, but I can tell you that it takes about seven to ten business days, which that's very important because from the time you make your purchase to the time you actually get the product, you don't want to lose that momentum, the excitement of whatever you saw on the website when you what made you buy it. So seven to ten days, I think, is kind of the the perfect sweet spot. You know, with Amazon, we're so used to the ordering today, receiving tomorrow. But at the same time, you lose a little bit of anticipation. Those are great for needs. This is great for like a surprise gift in between. All right, so let's get into the product itself. Um, this is the way it was shipped. It was a, a non-logo Ziploc bag. Uh, I do like the quality of the bag. It's always very important to me, first impressions. There is no logo printing on the bag. I don't know what this mesh type or crosshatch pattern on the plastic represents. A lot of the product that they ship, they do ship in paper packaging, and that's just because it's biodegradable and part of their environmentally friendly motto or theme that the company projects. Anyways, let's open it up, see what we got. So there was, this came in khaki and navy. It's a hooded jacket. Um, it's a fleece material, quite heavy, good hand feel. There's a logo label in the neck with no country of origin. It just says the size, which by the way, this is an extra large, which is the size that I wear. There is a care label, but there is no content on it. And the care label says wash cold, wash separately from other colors, dry flat and cool in a dry place, able to dry clean, ironing at a medium temperature, avoid using barrel washing machine, never use chlorine bleach. So anyways, it seems like they might be worried about shrinkage and they don't want you to actually machine dry, but calling out lay flat to dry. Okay, so I didn't find a content label, no country of origin, no care label. Uh, content label. I do know from the factory's website that this was 35% cotton, 65% polyester. And of the polyester, 40% of the polyester was a normal, straight, plain, everyday polyester fiber. 25% of the total content, or about 60% of the polyester, is a graphene fiber. And exactly what that is, is when they make polyester and it's in a liquid state and then they drip it through a sieve or something that looks like a shower head and that's when they create the polyester fiber. When the polyester is still liquid before it gets uh, what we call extruded into fiber they're mixing in graphene particles and those graphene particles then become embedded in the polyester. Some are exposed on the surface, some are completely embedded within the polyester and they become part of the fiber and don't wash out, which is the important part because when it's put in in that form, as opposed to say a topical solution. Now, if any of you have ever watched my videos in the past, you'll have seen that I have a graphene video on another jacket that I did. 
and all the properties and functionality of graphene. And what's cool about graphene, just to give you a brief overview, is graphene is found in coal mines next to coal. It is part of the process, I believe, that coal goes from uh, to become a diamond or something similar to that effect where the carbon structure is like a perfect lattice. It's hard. It's under certain circumstances. It becomes bulletproof when uh, they apply it to a fabric. It is a very, what we call, poor insulator. So it does not keep you warm. As a matter of fact, it lets heat pass through it very quickly. Probably one of the quickest transfers of heat in any material. The only thing that would do it quicker would be diamonds themselves. And you can tell, like, if you've ever touched diamonds, they feel cold. And that's just because they, the heat from your hand escapes through them quickly. It's kind of like when you touch anything metal that feels cold initially, it's because it's pulling the heat out of your hand. It's actually, you know, especially if you touch something metal inside your home, it's at room temperature. Can't be any colder or warmer than room temperature. But yet it feels cold to the touch, and that's because it's pulling the heat away from your hand and giving you the impression that it's colder than, say, a cloth couch would. How it works in a jacket is what's really cool. And maybe some of it is hyperbole, but what we hope the effect is that the graphene is helping in transmit your body's heat evenly throughout. So if you have hot spots in your body, for example, under your arms or maybe the your chest, your arms, your extremities are cold, this graphene is going to pull the heat quickly and efficiently throughout within your jacket. Now, this fleece material that the jacket's made of is what's going to keep the heat in and keep it from escaping. So you have a very heavy fleece. I don't know exactly the weight of this. I would guess around 380 GSM, which is heavier than, say, your typical sweatshirt that you would find in any department store, any hoodie you might buy. This is actually much heavier, and it's a nice fabric. You can see the back of the, the fabric is brushed, and that's what makes it a fleece. The front of it looks like a jersey, just like your t-shirt. That's what graphene's about. We're going to try it on. We'll, we got some cold weather in the mornings here in Tampa, so we'll try it on in the morning, and we'll give you my opinion on how it's doing, keeping me warm, if you can notice the graphene or not. Okay, so now let's get into the actual construction of the garment. We'll switch the camera to the overhead position so you can see and follow along with me. So stick around. Okay, so here we are. Call out the obvious. We have three zipper pockets. I like that the zippers zip the pockets closed in the up position and down is open. I don't know why. There's not any rule of thumb there that I can think of, but uh, just a pre personal preference. You can see we have a rib bottom and rib cuffs. The purpose of the jacket is to keep you warm. You don't want cold air entering in through the sleeves or through the bottom. So you do want it to be snug there uh, and not hang loose. We have these heat seal reflective tape here around the pocket openings. And we have the same thing in the company's name down both sleeves, the left and the right. Reflective tape, for those of you who manufacture, no, it's not a cheap product. It has a, quite a bit of value to it. Here, the zipper has a piping edge to it. Very nice. The zipper tape actually has this matching khaki bead that goes down the edge. Also, a nice touch, a very high-quality zipper. The hood is lined with a jersey. The color match could have been a little bit better, but it's not bad. And it's nice that it's lined. You don't want the just the fleece only, so it's double layered. You have this very soft tape going around the neck. And this is covering up what potentially would be an ugly seam. In the past, I've seen companies do this and use a tape that has like a sharp edge to it and it scratches the back of your neck. This one is very soft. And the colors, red, white, and blue, are part of the company's logo, including this like F that you can see here on their uh, label, which is also red, white, and blue. And you can see their Fiobach. The back is a one piece back. You've got single needle stitching on the hood and the neckline. But then here going around the sleeve opening, 
it's actually double needle. If we can zoom in on that, you can see one needle is on one side of the seam and the other on the other. The one on this side, which is the side next to the where the seam forms like a bump, that actually has a function. The other outside one is actually decorative. And uh, the same thing going across the shoulder. And basically what you could do is you see that from the inside. One is holding that from the edge of this from flipping up. And like I said, the other one is just decorative. The one negative call out, and it's really not a deal breaker in any sense, is the zipper opening in the center front zipper of the jacket. It actually, when you open it all the way, the slider, as you can see, ends on the left. Standard American construction, the zipper sliders on the right for men. And usually for women on the left, sometimes on the right, it, women are not as particular. But men in the U.S. are uh, very particular. Your pants always open that way. Your jacket should open that way. Now, the rest of the world doesn't follow that. So if you're not manufacturing for a strictly U.S. audience, then um, you might find that you get some construction like that where the zipper slider is on the opposite side. Like I said, not a deal breaker, but if you are accustomed to wearing apparel made for Americans, you will notice it and uh, you will actually struggle a little bit to get your zipper up whenever you wear the garment. But like I said, it's just a minor detail, not a big deal. Oh, and one last call out. The zipper itself is what we call windproof and waterproof. The jacket is not waterproof. In fact, matter of fact, it is, but the cotton in it, it's going to absorb moisture. So get caught in the rain, you're going to get wet. But the zipper being windproof is a nice feature because if you do get outside in a cold, windy day, it's going to be keeping the wind out and keeping the heat in. In that sense, it's a very functional zipper. Anyways, let's get to try this on and see how it fits. And then let's see how the graphene performs, if we can judge that. All right, so this is what the jacket looks like on. So used to having that slider on this side of the jacket. But anyways, you can get used to that. It's just, just a matter of inserting the tab. And then after that, it works the same. You never know the difference. It's a good fit. It's not a loose fit. It's not too tight. It's got uh, good mobility in it, as you can see. Does well as far as fit goes, the sleeve length. And um, here's the hood. Right? And even zipping it up with the hood up. And there you go. That's a nice warm jacket. We'll try it on outside in the morning when it's cool out and nice when the hood is back, it keeps the zipper from rolling up and hitting you in the face, which I don't know. A lot of you have zipper front jackets and you know, the collar sometimes is won't lay down. It's constantly up. I just find that annoying. I have a zipper front jacket like that, that I really like. And uh, unfortunately it's always bothering me because that collar is constantly hitting me in the face. It won't stay down. Anyways, let's try it on outside, get a feel for how it functions in the real world, and then we'll sum things up. So stick around. Thanks for watching up until now. Okay, so I wanted to give you some real world um, experience that I had with the jacket. It is very warm. I can't tell if really if the graphene's function is what's doing it, or of course it's just the extra weight because it's a very weighty fleece. I enjoyed the jacket. I'm going to be wearing it a lot more. I've worn it for about a couple of days now. I really, really like it. Pockets are in the right place. The uh, fit is great. The fabric is soft. It's about $82 on their website. If you use code Mike, M-I-K-E, you get a 12% discount. And if your total order after the discount comes out to over $79, you get free shipping. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you want to build your own type of product like this, I work for Aurora Investments. We're a manufacturer of apparel based out of Vietnam. We can hook you up with some fabric options and styling and everything else that you might need to put the whole program together for you. 
Look forward to hearing from you and remember to always dress smart. Take care.